movement, the terroristic movement. And number three, some people may say that that was an historic, old history, historic subject. It is not an old subject. Holy Prophet said that this movement will continue to the day of judgment. The Khawarijites, Holy Prophet said, they will come in my ummah in the history. At least more than 20 times they will emerge. And if we consider that the Kharijites were only those who fought against Sayyidina Ali, the fourth orthodox caliphs, 1400 years before, so that would be wrong according to the tradition of Holy Prophet. He said that was the first founding group of, of terrorists, Kharijite. And Holy Prophet said they will keep on emerging, coming up again and again. In the whole, all centuries, and more, they will emerge more than 20 times in the history. And the last group of Kharijai terrorists will be the part of the army of Antichrist, the Jal. They would be the soldiers of Antichrist. They will fought with him and they will again act, commit the act of terrorism with the Jal also. So they have to come till the Antichrist appears. So Holy Prophet, peace be upon him, gave <coughs> specific signs. I am just quoting the words of Hadith so that I will leave the decision up to you to whether these signs are available in the terrorist of this time or not. The first thing Holy Prophet stated, they would be Ahdasul Asnan. Ahdasul Asnan. By Ahdasul Asnan, Holy Prophet ﷺ meant that they would be the Kharijite terrorist. They will be they will be youth and they will be young in age. First of all, they will be young in age. Holy Prophet is mentioning these prophecies 15 centuries before. Whenever they will rise and emerge, they will be youth. Majority of them, youth will be deployed for terroristic activities. The world Ahdasul Asnan. Holy Prophet says, Ahdasul Asnan. This is in Sahih Bukhari and this is in Sahih Muslim and Ahmad bin Hanbal and Nasai and Ibn Majah and all books of Hadith. They will be young in age. They will be deployed for that. And they will come in the last times, last time of the first century and then other Hadith tells us the last time of the whole history too. Second thing, Sufaha ul Ahlam. They will be brainwashed. It's amazingly, when Holy Prophet, peace be upon him, is telling all these, disclosing these realities 14 centuries before. They would be deployed and then they would be brainwashed. What is the brainwashing? That if you are losing your life, you are getting shahada. And by suicide bombing, you are doing jihad. You are going direct to Jannah, to paradise. This is how they are being brainwashed. And they don't have the knowledge of Quran and Sunnah. Brainwashing is the easiest factor for any religious boy. He may, be, he may belong to any religion. He may belong to Jewish religion. He may belong to Christian religion. He may belong to Hindu religion. He may belong to Islamic religion. We see brainwashed people working in India. And everywhere, those who fight against humanity and just commit the acts of and burn out the mosques and the temples and things. Holy Prophet said, from the Ummah they will be brainwashed and they will be young in age. This word brainwash, Sufaha ul Ahlam, comes in Sahih Bukhari, and I quote Hadith number is 6531. Again in Sahih Muslim, Hadith number is 1066. Ahmad bin Hanbal, Hadith number is 616. And Hadith number 912, 1086. An-Nasai, Hadith number is 4102. And many other books of Hadith. So they would be young in age and brainwashed. Two things. Then Holy Prophet said, their leaders, those who will brainwash them, those who will misguide them, and those who will be their teachers, to take them to this wrong track, they would be kathul lehya. They will be having bulky beards. I'm sorry to say. You can go and find on your own. They will having bulky beards. Why Holy Prophet is mentioned? Such minute marks of identification.
so that my ummah and the mankind they may not be misguided they should be easy it would be very easy for them to identify who these people are what does it mean the bulky beard that they will be over expressive and very strict and particular in external practices of deen they will not be very close to the the spiritual aspect of deen the whole emphasis would be on the externality exposure and the fourth would be mushammirul izar they will be lifting their trousers above their knees you can go and you can find this is not a hidden secret they would be very particular in this thing all these two things mean they would be they will look much zealous extremist and very strict and particular about the external aspects of the practices and not the towards the internal not towards the kindness only prophet said they will practice the see look at their religiosity and on the other hand their hearts would be the hearts of tigers the wild beasts this would be their position of their hearts empty of mercy empty of love empty of kindness empty of mildness empty of compassion apparently they will look very big uh, preachers and very big practitioners practicing people of deen but their emphasis would be on these things and number third yakhruju nasu min qibl al mashriq do this the third thing which i have mentioned again comes in in bukhari and sahih muslim both i am quoting everything from the the highest had authorities of islamic traditions hadith of holy prophet bukhari and muslim the highest authorities muttafaq alay nobody in the world claiming to be a muslim can reject these authorities after quran these are the highest authorities bukhari and muslim and there are dozens of hadith on this subject which i am quoting these signs the fifth sign holy prophet mentioned yakhruju nasun min qibl al mashriq most of them will appear from the eastern part of the world although he was standing in madina he was pointed out towards east the first khawarij group at that time from madina was on the east side this is its specific application but coming to the generality eastern part always said ha huna al fitna to ha huna wa ashara ila al mashriq from the eastern part the one way or the other they will belong to the eastern part thing is holy prophet said la yazalu yakhrujun hatta yakhruj akhirum mal masih ad-dajjal they will keep on coming these terrorists will not appear only in the orthodox period they will keep on coming in the 15 centuries throughout the history from time to time from century to century they will re- they will keep up coming and emerging again and again and holy prophet comes in ibn majah and nasai and imam ahmad bin hanbal's musnad once he mentioned more than 10 times and at second time he mentions they will appear more than 20 times in the history and the last group and generation of the terrorists these khawarij they will appear rise along with the antichrist so this hadith connotes that they will keep appearing in every era of the human history then holy prophet said yatammaquna wa yatashaddaduna fi ad-din don't get deceived from their apparent religiosity because they will deceive the believers because of their appearance they will appear most religious but they will narrow minded and they were their interpretation would be very narrow and they will be very hard liners and extremist in matters of deen worlds of hadith are they. yatammaqun wa yatashaddadun fi ad-din they would be mutashaddid extremist in the matters of deen they won't be moderate they won't be liberal they would be mutashaddid mutashaddid means militant tashaddud and in deen they would be very extremist in deen and so much so he said to his companions yahkiru ahadukum salatahu ma salatihim wa siyamahu ma siyamihim they would be practicing muslims apparently if you see their praying and their fasting and their religious practices you will consider your religious practices inferior to the others they would be so strict in religious practice they would be reciting quran they would be quoting quran but holy prophet said quran will never grow under their throat down to their from their throat they were hypocrites 
and then quran says they will quote references of quran and they will decide quran